Good evening. This is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I'm a little bit uh, slow because it's late and I haven't had anything to eat yet. Uh, today is Saturday and I have a new plan for Saturdays. Now honestly in the past I've walked around and I've pointed my, my camera up and I pointed down at the ground and I've walked around ashamed of my meadow. And Saturdays from now on are going to be cleaning days at the off-grid homestead. So, uh, I worked, I worked my butt off today. I worked so hard. You will notice there's no garbage, except for the pallet wood I'm working on in the corner. Um, that's the only thing over there right now, just over here, where I'm still working on a picket fence. There's no garbage in the metal of the metal. There's no bro downed trees. There's no uh, garbage, there's no branches. Um, there is a leaf pile I still gotta get up, but the stupid chickens keep escaping and getting at it. I keep finding the holes where they're getting through, and then I keep fixing them and they'll find another hole. But that is how it is with a new fence. Especially that big a fence. Anyway, um, you'll see that I have two stacks of wood here. Uh, sorry I did not record anything today, but I just really worked hard. I really just pushed on and pushed through, and uh, I cut up all the, the logs that were down here. Now you remember I broke my ribs, so I couldn't work on this stuff. So it's been laying just literally all over here um, all summer. And uh, there was a lot of clutter here, and you may remember right here was a, a, a pile of some junk still left over from when I uh, made the, the temporary chicken coop here. Um, this is temporary, I'm going to move it later off into the woods further, but after the main electric fence is done and I've cut and stacked my wood I put them here the dinosaurs are doing dinosaur things I've put a, my, my wood stacked up here and here for good reason and that's because I want it to get the full sunlight and dry okay um, there was some garbage up in here I've cleared it all out the only thing I have is the some leftover roofing and trim work for my house, which I need to get out of here and put off in a safe place out of sight from here. Um, I, as I was working, I put leaves and, and junk as mulch into the garden. Um, I worked in the garden a bit today as well because it's part of the job. Uh, I have put some organic powder on all of my vine plants because they have powdery mildew and I have a uh, an organic uh, compound that I put on them. I hope I didn't put too much on. I've never used it before. But I had to powder and dust every single one of my, my plants so I can save them from certain death. But, uh, you know, there's a there's a nice looking yard right now. Um, oh, I worked in front of the tiny house. I clean up entirely. I finished a job in front of the tiny house. There's nothing left in front of the house except for the plants and the uh, the porch. Um, I want to cover that that little greenhouse frame, but for now the tarp has been holding the rain out of my shoes, which is all I needed, and. Um, I don't know what to use to cover it with because I found out that the construction plastic I have biodegrades and that just makes a disgusting mess. So um, I'm just probably not going to do anything with that now. It serves its purpose. My shoes are high and dry. My um, uh, aquaponics is working and my potted plants are fine. So that's all good. Now over here, um, oh yeah, in this corner there was a mess of junk where the greenhouse used to be. I cleaned all that up too. So I've really been working hard in the inside part of the, of the meadow in front of my house. You can see we did a lot of cutting today. And uh, there was a lot of piles of junk metal and junk here. And scraps of everything and logs everywhere. and things I had pulled out from in the chicken area. That's for when all the wood and pallet wood and scraps and everything. So now we'll go up to the tiny house. 
I'm no longer embarrassed to hold my camera high and proud and show you the meadow. I don't have to be embarrassed. It's a start. Now, um, next I'm going to work over by the RV when I'm done with all the pallets. Uh, the pallet um, job with the picket fence. Monday I'll finish the picket fence. Only have to put about four or five more pallets up. Then I want to take all the pallets away from there and put them somewhere else. I'm not sure because the problem is they have to stay in the sun and be dry, and, but the only sunny area is in the meadow and I really don't want them in view. So I've got to figure out where I'm going to put all the pallets so that I can work on the tiny house siding uh, in a couple weeks, which will be the next project after the chicken fence is completely done. So um, that's it for today. Um, the new the new Saturday at the off-grid homestead is going to be cleanup day. And uh, if I don't have anything, well, it'll be like yard maintenance, like yard and lawn maintenance, which I didn't get to yet today. There's just so much to do. But um, it'll be garden maintenance, lawn maintenance, uh, engine work, whatever. But it'll be cleanup day. It'll be, uh, that's my Saturdays from now on. The off-grid homestead cleanup day. And uh, I think that'll make a great improvement on the homestead. And Squeaky Cat, Squeak, come on, you said hi. Now look at the camera. Squeaky saying hi. She is loving it out here so much. Hey, nice, Squeaky. You're happy, aren't you? Huh? You're so happy. So, uh, you know, this means that you guys will be more pleased with the appearance of things here. I'll not be embarrassed, and it's just going to be better all the way around. I think I won't be offending my subs anymore. A lot of people were uh, really upset with the way things looked. And then um, I got to straighten up and clean up around the rock beds now and rebuild because the chickens have really been wreaking havoc on things. Um, when I was working on the picket fence, of course, the chickens could come and go as they please, and they very well are doing so. Uh, especially the silkies, oddly. The silkies march all the way around the meadow and come all the way around over here and walk casually straight through the gaps in a picket fence. Uh, that's another thing I did today. I, uh, sorry, my habit is to point the camera down. I gotta walk proud and hold the camera high. Um, oh, I am pointing down because I have um, a little bit of coil of wire here and I ran the rest of the, uh, another strand of wire and there's a silky coming on around wanting to uh, to walk on into here they want to be close to me because I hand raised them so next thing next time I do a cleaning day all this in front of the RV is going to be done I'll clean the porch off which has become storage and uh, clean up around the RV get the pallets out of here and I'll be done and it'll be looking good so the off-grid homestead looking better it still looks like a jungle out there I gotta get out there and but I'm gonna get to it I will this week I got to this week or I'll lose control so I'm gonna get some food I'll talk to you all later Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project cleaning day at the homestead